Welcome back. India seems to be fast-tracking its goal of becoming a global manufacturing hub. The country reached an agreement with Singapore to better connect and strengthen the complementary semiconductor ecosystem of the two sides. The announcement came as four semiconductor units are already in the works in the country. Recently, Keynes Semicon received a note to set up a unit in Gujarat with an investment of 3,300 crore rupees. These four units are expected to bring in 1.5 lakh crore rupees in investments. However, issues like high volume and low value in Indian electronics cannot be negated. Further concerns around lack of Indian brands in the electronic sector, funding and strengthening value chains persist. Over 500 plus domestic and global companies are expected to address these issues in the upcoming Semicon India conference on the 11th of September. Joining us right now to speak about uh, the semiconductor industry's expectations from the government ahead of Semicon is Ashok Chandak, president of the Indian Electronics and Semiconductor Association. Uh, sir, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, give us a sense. Is it time for Indian Semiconductor Mission 2.0? Uh, yes, I think this will be in progress because the ISM-1 was highly successful. As you just spelled out, there are five key projects of 1.5 lakh crore already approved by Ministry of Electronics and IT. And there are more proposals on the table. In fact, last week itself, we have heard another project which was approved by government of Maharashtra. Two projects there. There is one in Odisha. So there is a lot of appetite. And considering that, uh, the first allocation of 76,000 crore or roughly $10 billion uh, by ISM 1.0 is I would call almost allocated or exhausted. Something is maybe pending there. But with the momentum which is continued and the global demand that's going to unfold, uh, definitely there is a much wider scope and expectation of ISM 2.0. Uh, now, when it happens, is a matter of time, but I'm sure it is going to happen, actually, because this is really a major industry, mega projects, and it's getting into a momentum. Uh, so how soon do you hope that the second round of funding for the semiconductor mission is announced and how big should that be? I would call, uh, considering the first uh, trench where our ecosystem was not fully ready and there were a lot of concerns, hiccups and questions. So government has to also put up a large amount of incentive mechanism both at a central level as well as at the state government level. Now things have progressed. And you can see, you already mentioned the comment that next week or this week's Semicon India event, we see a huge turnout of not only the domestic Indian companies, but also global counterparts. There are almost 75 CXOs of global companies joining the event, more than 100 global guys, 500 exhibitors, huge interest there. And why? Because the India electronics market, which is about $140 million as per ISA market research report, is expected to grow to $500 billion. Mm -hmm. And corresponding, the demand for semiconductor grows from $40 billion to about $100 billion plus by 2030. So there is one on one side, we see a huge India opportunity. And a second side, if we see the global uh, landscape, it's a globalization which is happening. And particularly our industry, that's a semiconductor industry, mm -hmm. it's a global business. Any chip manufacturing, mm -hmm. design to manufacturing, touches right. about five to seven countries actually. And this is where India would see a huge yeah. demand, not only from local domestic market, but also global market, and which global market is also expected to increase. Mr. Chandak. Almost $1 trillion. And that is where we would see this additional allocation right. would be required. It's a matter of time, whether it's a weeks or months, very difficult to pronounce for me, but it, it will come very saying. soon, actually. This but Mr. Chandak, when it, it comes to electronic components, uh, the industry has been feeling for some time that we need higher value addition and technology collaboration in electronics, especially when it comes to the semiconductor industry. How can we make some of the PLI schemes or any other scheme more focused on value addition in uh, electronics? Any recommendation that so, you would have on that front? Yeah, so recently there was also a discussion with the uh, Niti Ayo, as well as with the Ministry of Electronics and IT, where as an industry body, along with several members, we identified several high-priority products for the country. And within that high-priority products, the high-priority chips, those are required, considering next five years of the demand. And those recommendation topics are there on the table, actually. What we have proposing is the PLI, the design link incentive, DLI scheme, the various state-level ESDM policies, 
everything if we holistically link to this particular high impact chips and high impact electronic products we can see a very very immediate transition to the value addition activity and that is what is a work in progress right now on the chip side also on the electronic component side we did make some recommendations and government is particularly ministry of electronics it and ism very very uh, crucial role they are looking into this to create because you know electronic component constitutes almost like 20% of the bill of material and that is without saying it i am referring the capacitor the resistors the pcbs the connectors right. and so forth and here as well uh, there is a huge scope for value addition because today most hmm. of the manufacturing is important. okay and also there is a lot of kits import actually so there are recommendations on the table the pli would come up i my understanding is the pli would happen for a components particularly non semiconductor and for semiconductor there is a pli and dli which is already there in fact design link incentive is also progressing pretty well mm. there are 13 startups those have been chosen and government as well as industry body isa we have taken a goal that we need to move to at least 100 okay. startups those should get the dli benefit All right, we've run out of time, but Mr. Chandak, thank you so much for joining us on the program, giving us your view on uh, what would be some of the industry hopes and expectations ahead of that mega semiconductor uh, event.